Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got yet another huge Primark haul for you and I actually think I have a bit of a spending problem but we'll get into that in probably another video very soon. For those of you that are like my ride or die subscribers you'll notice that I have a different background. I've had a bit of a move around in my room just for spring. I wanted to add a bit of pinks and florals into my room, make it a bit brighter for the summer and yeah that's exactly what I've done. It's not quite finished yet, I want to get maybe some um, flowers or something to go on my drawers and I need to sort my pillows out, oh, there's just all sorts that still need to do but this is how it is for now so I hope you guys like it. So yeah I went into Primark and the same thing happened that always happens when I walk into Primark I ended up walking out with a huge bag and I think I'm just going to start off with shoes because at the minute I've got such a bad shoe addiction clearly um, so I'm going to start with shoes. First pair of shoes that I want to talk about are these. Now these are like faux suede um, Reebok ripoffs. let's be honest, they're Reebok ripoffs. They are so comfortable, these trainers are. They're so lightweight as well which is just what you want for summer because you don't want your feet to get hot and yeah i'm just absolutely obsessed with them i think they were about 12 pounds but yeah as i say they're just so so comfortable and they're just beautiful they're such a beautiful blush pink color that they go with absolutely everything and i've been getting so much wear out of these i know they've got these in sort of a patent white as well if you don't really like the faux suede look the second thing i've got is more summer orientated and I just wanted a pair of shoes that were going to go with everything um, for summer and yeah I went for nude because nude goes with everything and I picked these up and the thing that I love the most about these shoes is they've got a big chunky heel. Now I am a heel wearer, I wear heels all of the time apart from when I'm at work because anybody got time for that. So I prefer my heels to be quite chunky if I'm wearing them on the reg like day to day basis because I want to be comfortable and these are just the perfect height, the perfect chunkiness and they're just perfect. So I picked those up and I think these were around 12 to 13 pounds as well. I have worn them so I've taken the um, the sticker off them but I do believe they're around that price. Really, really, really inexpensive and yeah they're just perfect they go with everything the last pair of shoes that i picked up were holiday um inspired and i am obsessed with these shoes and i think they're a bit of like a love hate sort of shoe but when i saw them i just needed to get them so they are slides and they say yeah beach how cute are these guys i think they were like again i've like taken the prices off them because i've had them like a couple weeks now um, I think they were around five to six pounds, probably not even that, you know how cheap Primark is. Um, but they're just in a lovely sort of rose gold colour and yeah, obsessed, obsessed with them. Right, I'm going to move on to clothes. So I may as well start off with what I'm wearing. So this jacket I picked up from there and I'll stand up so you can see it. It is just a ripped denim jacket and the back of it is totally ripped. As you can see, um, I have wanted one like this for the longest time and I know in one of my previous videos I bought one from H&M and I attempted to rip it myself but as much as I liked it I wasn't totally happy with it and when I saw this in Primark I nearly died, I nearly died, I was just like I need that jacket in my life. It was £18 and I actually picked this one up in a size 4 because I'm supposed to be quite oversized. Um, but that 8 was just massively oversized for me. I wanted it to still be sort of fitted but uh, a bit baggy and yeah, I'm just obsessed and I think I've lived in it since. In fact, I know that I had it on in my last video as well so that just proves how much I am still loving this jacket. The next item that I have, um, I know they're doing black and they do in like a coral pinky ready sort of colour and it is this top. And it's just an off the shoulder crop top and this was literally three pounds um yeah what more can i say about this it fits really nicely it's tight it's stretchy i'm definitely going to go back and pick this one up in the other colors too because for three pounds it's just such an easy summer top to just throw on pair of jeans sandals flip-flops sorted so yeah 
picked that one up. And the next item that I picked up, I think, was a bit of an impulse buy. Um, last year, when Primark started to bring out all their bodysuits and things, I went ballistic and basically bought them all because just obsessed with bodysuits back then. And they started to bring out the bodysuits again. And I saw this pale pink one, and it just says not interested at all. And I just thought it was such a meet up, it was just so funny. And it is a bodysuit. Um, this was five pounds and I picked it up in a size eight because I've noticed the body on their bodysuits are quite short so if you want that extra bit of room for manoeuvre. So the next item of clothing I bought was a dress and it's this faux suede dress and it is a bodycon, it goes all the way down to midi length, it fits like a glove, I have never had a dress fit me as nice as what this one does, it was £13 and they did it in like a dark brownie sort of colour, it was like a tan sort of colour and that was really nice too and I was a bit undecided between the two but I've actually bought this for a wedding so I thought this colour would be a lot nicer and yeah it's just really really lovely. It hasn't got a zip in it so getting this dress on and off is an absolute nightmare so thanks for that Primark um, but yeah it's just really nice, really nice fitted dress lovely lovely soft material as I say faux suede and it is also a high neck as well which I think is quite nice being as it's so fitted and it's sleeveless it just gives it a really nice sophisticated sort of look so I got that one and we're down to my last few bits and bobs so I'll start with nightwear because I wanted to pick up some summer nightwear being as I'm going on holiday and it's hot so I got some shorts and I picked up these floral ones I just thought they were really pretty. I brought those in a size medium because the size small was ridiculously small. Um, so the medium fits absolutely perfect because there's nothing worse than being uncomfortable in bed and wearing things that are too tight when you're trying to sleep. So I went up a size in these and they fit perfectly. So I'd say the medium in these are more like a 6 to an 8 and definitely not a 10 to a 12. Um, but those were £2.50. And I love the fact they've got such a stretchy waist as well because being comfortable in bed. I picked up this night shirt as well, which is just a pinstripe night shirt. And it comes to, I'd say, just past the knee. And that was £8. And I also got that one in a size 4. Well, I got this one in a size 4. I got that one in a size medium um, because they were coming up quite bigger. So, so that one. And then the last item of clothing I have to show you is actually a swimming costume. Um, I am trying to buy new bikinis and swimming costumes and stuff because the Primark ones are nice but really they only last sort of like one or two holidays. They tend to fade in the wash and I don't know if this is just a general thing with all swimwear but the Primark ones definitely seem to fade. So I wanted to get some new, um, new ones this year. And I saw this one and it just says vacation vibes on it and that was £4 and it's got a low back as well which is quite nice. Um, there isn't any padding in these though can I just say. Um, so I'm probably going to sort of makeshift some padding or something just for um, sake of being comfortable when swimming. But yeah I just thought that was really cute and I liked it. So that concludes my Primark haul. I'm sure there will be another one very, 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 very soon. Payday is just around the corner and I've got my eye on a few items already. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. I have also bought some jeans from there which I showed in my last haul and I said that I might be ripping them or something like that. Um, quite a few of you want to see a DIY ripped jeans and I will probably film that as my next video because I'm definitely going to rip those mom jeans and I've also bought some embroidery to go on them as well so I'll definitely show you guys how to do that and we'll see how they turn out together so I'm looking forward to doing that video and yeah don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to me if you haven't already click the little bell just to turn on the notifications and I'll see you in my next one